All right, peace, love, and blessings, y'all. So real quick, this is a quick message um, that the Father had was like pressing on my spirit. Um, he had me thinking about the parable of the wedding banquet about uh, when, you know, many are called, many are called, few are chosen. But it, he had me really comparing it to uh, many of these marriages that's getting ready to take place. You know, um, the parable of the wedding banquet pretty much talks about like, you know, the father calling many, the father calling many, and it was only very few that gave God their God their yes. You know what I'm saying? It was very few that accepted the invite. And those were the ones that was chosen um, to come to the wedding, right? So even with just, you know, um, the season that many of you are entering into, a lot of you guys are entering into your season of marriage, right? And um, for some of y'all, the father may have separated you from your family, right? Or, you know, your family may have rejected you. Um, but in this hour, some of you are experiencing um, family members, friends, um, you know, people from the past, you know, just counter, I'm going to say counterfeit situations, you know, trying to come back into your life. And um, unfortunately, they're, un they're, they're not able to, okay? Unfortunately, the father is saying to, you know, continue to set those healthy boundaries and to not look back, okay? Um, they rejected Christ, you know, they rejected you. And um, even with that being said, they didn't say yes. They didn't give God their yes. And therefore, because they didn't give God their yes, um, God gave them a no to having access to your life, right? And so he wants you to really protect this union, really protect this marriage. Um, for some of y'all, I know, even just personally, you know, people personally, I know that some of y'all do not plan on inviting your family members to your marriage um, or to your wedding. And that was simply just instructions from the father, okay? And um, it's no offense to anybody. You're just walking in obedience, okay? You've been called. You've been chosen for such a time as this, right? And you've been on your journey walking with the father. And, you know, those who gave God a no, they could not come with you. And so, unfortunately, because, the, the unfortunately, the ones that gave God a no, um, God separated you from them. They can't partake in what God is getting ready to do in your life. For some of y'all, this is even a situation where the father is elevating you in the presence of them. This is the father also preparing a table in the presence of them. But that's neither here nor there. The other scripture that the father had me um, really highlight in or, or just pressing in my spirit was Psalms 45, 10. And that's a wedding poem. And it's pretty much talking about like, you know, daughters, you know, forget your father's people, you know, um, let the king be enthralled by your beauty. You know, um, you being led to your king. And also he brought back Genesis 2, 24, which talks about a man will leave his mother and father to be united with his wife. So for the women, Psalms 45, 10, that's for y'all. That's the father telling y'all to forget your father's peoples. Okay. Because you're, you're, being led to the king and for the men the father is saying genesis 2 24 listen you are to leave your mother and father to be united with your wife so for some of y'all or for a lot of y'all um you guys are really getting ready to lock in and the what the father is also saying to many of you do not look back okay if you're getting invites or if you're getting random you know messages like hey i want to talk to you i want to meet up with you the father is saying no take this as your confirmation okay and also take this message back to the lord what he also was highlighting to me too in this season because it's such a sensitive hour is to move in silence okay he wants you to protect this thing as like a newborn baby literally um and even too a new pregnancy you know you know that first three months of being pregnant nobody announces that they're pregnant why because it's such a sensitive time of pregnancy that's the time frame where many women are at risk of miscarriage okay so you are to treat it you know sorry y'all my fault but um it was it was a call coming through and i was trying to figure out how to you know so anyways so yeah you are to treat this pregnancy you are to treat this uh this marriage this union this blessing this promise just how you would treat it as if it was a newborn baby or as if it was a new pregnancy okay um so again i just you know take this back to the lord um move in silence walk in obedience don't look back and get excited because it's here. Amen. Again, peace, love, and blessings. I pray that that bless your spirit. That's just a little quick message. I got some more 
um, heavy heavy hitters um, on the way. But um, if you feel led to sow into this ministry, my information is in the description box below. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Trust, obey, imagine ministries. I am your sister B. Peace. Happy Sabbath.